quotes are perras perras and bitches and cochinas and and all of the above if the shoe fits wear it um today we're gonna be going over my morning routine i know y'all be so fucking nosy y'all want to know everything that i do on a day-to-day basis and so i went ahead and recorded my little morning routine um (laughs) me stabbing my fucking eye um but no yeah i went ahead and recorded my morning routine just so y'all could be cheese muscles and see how i get ready for school um and at the same time y'all are going to be listening to some girl talk y'all can skip through whatever parts of the videos you want we're going to be talking about school we're going to be talking about relationships healing um expectations and communication and like relationships and like boundaries and stuff like that we're gonna be getting into all that nitty-gritty um i feel like this is a very much needed video at least for me too um i feel like for me when i'm like when i'm going through something it it helps a lot to hear from someone else's experience and perspective to you know get advice from them and just have that to bounce off of and i'm kind of dealing with my own little situation right now so i'm hoping that whoever out there is dealing with something similar can use my wise words as a fucking 19 year old woman i'm not 19 yet okay but i turn 19 like next week (laughs) i can't believe that i'm literally turning 19 bro i'm so old but that's not the point um yeah basically i hope my wise words and my experiences and whatever i have to say can help some of y'all because i know that when i was younger i could definitely use youtube videos and and other girls online to kind of help me with whatever i'm dealing with so yeah let's let's just fucking stop rambling get some hot cheetos get some takis pepsi dr pepper whatever the fuck you drink or eat and and let's just get into it okay for starters if you're a middle schooler or a high schooler or even if you're in elementary or a college student whatever it is i'm focusing primarily on students that are not in college yet um to those of y'all i want to tell you that it's okay to fail and it is okay to not pass a class i have had my fair share of not passing classes not passing exams not you know doing good on a test not doing good on a homework like it's it's okay and it's really not the end of the world i failed what like two three classes when i was in high school i think my junior year i failed two classes and the rest of my classes i got c's but is it affecting me now? No. And sometimes you got to realize like the stresses that you have in your life currently are really not going to matter in like three, five years. Not even in one year, bro. Like last year when I was in my senior year, I think I passed some of my classes with C's. I failed some of my tests. I failed some of my papers. Um, I obviously could have put in a lot more work and a lot more effort into what I was doing, but I honestly wasn't that motivated and that's okay um being a student can be really draining when you have other things going on in your life and that's totally understandable that's totally reasonable and you should not feel bad for yourself because you know you're going through something um i think we all kind of go through our own little phases and we go through our own situations and that's okay as long as we're able to bounce back from it i am already in college i am a business major when i was in high school i had initially been wanting to go in for something completely different that i'm going in now um and i want y'all to know that that is very very normal a lot of the time you think that you want to do something with your life and then things change you go through changes you grow up you decide to do other things and that's okay change is really good sometimes Um, change can be really good sometimes and whatever is meant for you will come to you um i don't want y'all to be stressing over something that really doesn't mean so much majority of the time whatever you do in middle school or high school doesn't mean as much as they make it seem once you're out of high school once you're already graduated and into the real world um literally everything that i failed in high school has not affected me whatsoever now that i'm in college and if you are doing so bad, you don't know if you're going to graduate, you don't know what to do, you don't know how to maintain your academics and what you're doing in school, 
I want y'all to know that it's okay to reach out for help. Um, for me, that helped me a lot. Even just reaching out to my counselor, communicating with my teachers, letting them know what I was going through, letting them know that I couldn't do this, that I had no motivation, that I didn't know what to do. Expressing your feelings to the people that really care about you and the people that really want to see you succeed is going to help you so much and is going to prepare you so much once you're out of high school and you're out of that environment because honestly, I I would not even be in college, bro. I would not even be in college if I hadn't reached out to my counselor and I hadn't communicated with her and confided in her and trusted in her and trusted in the process and was patient with myself and caring towards myself because she was the one that honestly got me into college. She, even though she knew that I was doing terrible in school, she had, she believed in me so much, bro. She believed in me so much. She referred me to a scholarship, um, I actually applied, even though I wasn't doing a bunch of other shit in school, she urged me to apply, I got the scholarship, and that was like my sign to go to college, and it's going to be different for everyone, it's okay if you don't even want to go to college, school is not always meant for everyone, not all jobs require it, um, as long as you're happy, bro, that's, that's basically like the main gist of it all, if you're happy with what you're doing, that's all that matters, I mean, it's different for everybody. Some people choose their professions because of family, um, because it's what other people want them to do, because they want to make money, because they want a social status. Um, but me personally, I'm more focused on being happy and, you know, yes, being successful is something really big that I strive towards, but being happy, I feel like it's one of the most important things in life. If you're living your day, living your life, stressing every day, not enjoying your job, not enjoying what you do, you're going to be miserable every fucking day. Yeah, you might have money. Yeah, you might be able to support your family. But is it really worth it if, like, you hate your life? Like, in my opinion, no. And that might be different for everybody else watching this video. But, like, it's okay to to try new things. And it's okay to, you know, take a while to figure things out. At the end of the day... You know, life is going to become what's meant for you and you shouldn't have to stress so much about the future because everything's going to fall into place and everything is going to be okay. And kind of going hand in hand with that, something else that like can be a really big stressor is relationships you know sometimes you're kind of dealing with things you're going through a breakup you're dealing with a situation you're dealing with a crush even and things just don't feel okay and then you stress about the future and then you stress about like oh well what am I going to do with my life without this person or what am I going to do by myself like it's it's really hard to not stress about the future whether it's school whether it's relationships whether it's work whether it's anything it's really hard not to stress about the future and what's to come but like i said whatever is meant for you will happen and whatever is meant for you will come to you with time so that's why we shouldn't stress we should not be overthinking too much because at the end of the day things are just going to fall into place how they're meant to be you know our overthinking and our stresses are really not going to impact anything that happens with our lives because that's completely out of our hands you know that's completely out of our hands and Something really big and important that I want to touch on is just breakups in general and, you know, learning how to heal from shit like that and learning how to move on. One thing that I really want to stress on is not to indulge in any type of substances, bro. And that that might sound really corny to some people, especially if you're, you know... A younger person because a lot of people like to make drugs and alcohol to seem like something really fun and something like, you know that can easily take away your pain and like yes i'm gonna tell you it numbs you temporarily and it sets you back from the entire healing process and it's not worth it and this is coming from me somebody who has experienced this and has tried this and has indulged in this to try to move on from things and distract myself i would use this to distract myself from what was going on and from what i was feeling because temporarily it, it completely puts you in a different mindset. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel like everything's okay. But then once it starts wearing off, once it gets to the point where you're addicted, once it gets to the point where, like, you need to depend on this, your life just becomes shit, bro. Your life just becomes worse than what it already was when you had all these feelings. 
like take it from me it is never worth it to indulge in substances or anything like that um while you're trying to heal from things whether it's a relationship whether it's just trauma in general like it completely sets you back because thinking of thinking not thinking god damn i can't talk think of it this way okay you're indulging in all these things you're distracting yourself and then once it's taken away from you and you're trying to get sober you're back at square one bro now you gotta deal with you know all the feelings that you had already been trying to suppress it's gonna take you way longer to heal it's easier to just feel things out and focus on yourself and work on you that is key working on yourself because how do you expect someone new to love you if you can't even love yourself like you really can't love yourself to the point that you have to distract yourself with things because you're not strong enough to deal with your emotions without substance you know how sad that is and i'm not even trying to talk shit on y'all that do it because trust me i've been there but like that says so much about you as an individual and about how you can't handle stress and you can't handle emotions and how do you expect to get a relationship and get a partner if you can't even handle all of that you need to learn how to handle your feelings and you need to learn how to handle your life and move on because this heartbreak this trauma this whatever you're going through is not going to be the first time that this happens it makes you feel this way you're going to deal with this several times in your life and early on you got to learn how to deal with it so that it's easier for you in the future and trust me i understand that it's hard but it's something really important because you cannot expect someone new to meet your standards if you can't provide the same standards for yourself or for your partner you know you got to work on yourself so you can be a better person for your next love and i know how hard it is i know it's easier said than done but you have to become a better version of yourself so that you can meet a better person for your future if that makes sense and going hand in hand on love and stuff and like you know learning how to move on you have to realize what they missed out on what you could have done better what they could have done better because a lot of the time at least with me this is something that I was dealing with a little bit ago I was talking with someone and they just weren't giving back the same effort and like reassurance and care that I needed and something that I really need to stress on too is that if they wanted to they would bitch like you cannot be you cannot be getting like so geeked on somebody that provides the bare minimum either like if they wanted to they would trust like you cannot be like oh like they've been really busy like do not try to make excuses for like the the communication that people give you do not try to make excuses for like what they're not doing for you like if they wanted to bitch trust me they would a hundred percent and you are completely it's completely okay for you to be entitled to your own expectations because everybody's boundaries is like completely different obviously like your expectations are valid to an extent you know you've got to learn how to work with your partner and understand what like you know understand one another and communicate your expectations you know you can't have nothing outrageous like oh i expect you to not talk to any single female ever in your life because you got to think about school you got to think about work like you got to be realistic is what i'm saying and you also got to discuss things with your partner you can't expect your partner to automatically know what you want out of them they're not a mind reader they can't read your thoughts they can't you know just automatically know what you need you need to be able to communicate that um because you know like everybody's different everybody sees things a different way and and it's hard bitch trust me it's really hard but you just got to learn how to deal with that so that you can be stronger with your partner And another thing is that previous relationships can affect the way that you view relationships later on. You could deal with something really toxic and you can be dealing with a lot of baggage as you move forward with your next relationships. And that's okay. That's completely understandable. That's something that, again, you need to learn how to communicate with your new partners. Um, And you also got to learn how to grow from that and kind of heal from that. I'm not saying you got to do that on your own because I think it's totally possible for your new partner to kind of help you get into a healthier mindset especially if like all you've ever known and all you've ever been used to is something toxic and you're entering a new healthy environment it's really hard to adjust because when you're with someone really toxic you become a toxic individual yourself because you learn that whatever you're dealing with is normal 
and you think that it's healthy and you think that it's okay but it's really not so when you meet someone that is healthy and is normal and is doing things how it should be it's gonna be really really hard to adjust to that new way of living trust me i have been through it and it's really fucking hard but it's all about communication and talking to your partner and understanding each other and being willing to work with one another because sometimes anything can be fixed anything small or even anything really big can be fixed with just one simple conversation things don't always have to end on a bad note just because you don't agree on shit you know it's okay and and communication when I say communication because obviously I'm telling y'all that communication is a big thing communication does not mean talking 24 7 because there are times when you can't always make the time to see one another or call each other or text each other and that happens and that's normal especially when you're getting older you know there's things that come into play there's there's life there's work there's school there's so many different factors that can can push that back but it's just learning how to work around things and learning how to deal with things that is the most important because yes things get hard sometimes but whatever happens happens for a reason Okay. Oh my god, bro. I'm I'm talking too much, man. I hope that whatever I'm saying is helping y'all like at least somewhat. I know that I rant too much. And I low key might start a fucking podcast if y'all want me to or something, but um yeah, no. I I try my best to cover as much as I could and and I honestly just want to leave this on a good note and let y'all know that you are number 1 in your life and you need to learn to embrace your own presence and see the beauty in things because whatever our stresses are currently won't mean so much when we're gone and we're done and we're off of this earth what whatever you think happens after death like it really won't matter in the end and you just got to focus on the present you got to focus on yourself you got to focus on what makes you happy and communicate that with other people and find people and whether it's friends relationships parents just anybody um that can help you and can comfort you and reassure you because we really don't have a lot of time on this earth bro and it's not worth being on this earth every day stressing and feeling down because someday we're not gonna have the blessing to to even be here and be thinking about anything like we have to enjoy what we have in the moment and we have to make the most out of what we are given so on that note, I'm gonna have to let y'all go because I'm talking way too fucking much. So I'm I hope I'm hoping that this shit was okay. You know, I'm hoping that this shit helped a little bit. I don't know. I'm kind of just rambling, going off right now. Um, but I really gotta end this fucking video, bro, because this shit's gonna be way too long. Okay, bye. I love you. <laughs> No, güey. No pasa nada. No, güey. Está sucio, está sucio. No, güey. Ya, güey. Pinche pendejo, güey. Ya. Pinche vato, güey. Ya, nada, güey. Pinche vato. Ya, güey. Ya, güey. Por favor, idiota. Ah, te bañaste. Ya, güey.